and welcome to Foodie Gardening. I am in the house today. The weather has turned a bit cold, so I'm in my snugglies, and I think it's going to be like that at the moment. The, the outdoor videos are probably going to be few and far between until we get into the spring now. I will share with you some updates when I have them from outside, but it's certainly not going to be weekly. I wanted to talk today about the seeds that I have saved from outside because I feel like I've found a secret like it's a scam or something like I'm beating the system because I've saved seed from this year so I won't have to buy them next year which is amazing and these are all the seeds that I have saved I haven't labeled them all on the kitchen paper it just wasn't necessary just the spaghetti squash and the pumpkin because they seemed like two that I might get confused and I've also got in this envelope probably thousands of um, marigold seeds there are so many in there and this is quite a big envelope as well. The marigolds were particularly exciting because with the beans and things I had to actually save some of the beans which meant I couldn't eat them. But with the marigolds it's just the seed head that's left after you've already enjoyed the flower anyway. So let me show you all of the other ones that I have saved. The first one was the blue lake beans. These did quite well and I've got two big bagfuls of beans in the freezer. I let a couple dry out on the plants and they had gone kind of brown when I took the the seeds out of them and another couple there was only a couple that had gone that dried and then it's just been so wet I didn't think that they were going to dry out and I was worried about them getting moldy and I wanted to get the plot cleared off so I brought another couple in and dried them inside I've actually still got the blue lake beans some blue lake beans left from last year which I will use next year but I'm hoping these ones I can use the year after that if that makes sense I don't know how long they keep for um, a, a few years though I think I should get out of them the sweet corn I saved was true gold and the seeds for that were quite expensive I got them from Pennard plants and I think there was only eight in each packet and I got worried because the germination on them wasn't amazing they were I struggled a little bit more with my sweet corn than I have done in the past. I've usually grown F1 varieties though and you can't really save the seeds from them. Um, so I struggled a little bit this year and I didn't have great germination but it had always been my plan to save the seeds. There was a point in the spring where I thought maybe none of them are going to get to the stage where I'm actually getting cobs off them. So I'm very happy that I managed to get quite a substantial amount of sweet corn. I also have spaghetti squash and a pumpkin I'm not entirely sure what pumpkin it is because somebody gave me the pumpkin so I need to double check with them but I saved some seeds out of the inside of it and I'm going to be saving some blue hubbard squash but I haven't saved them yet but I have still got the actual squash that I'm gonna save the seeds from because I only had two blue hubbard squashes this year and one was that big massive one which I have saved hopefully to be a good bird house <laughs> next year and the other one I just haven't eaten yet and I've been saying all year that I needed to save those seeds because I want to give some back to my mom because she gave me a blue hubbard squash a few years ago and I roasted it before saving the seeds so this year I've been very mindful of having to save seeds and the last ones are the Scarlet Emperor runner beans and like the Blue Lake beans I think I've still got some of those left from last year so these ones I might plant the next time um, but they are a beautiful colour. No, that isn't that isn't the only one. There's the brulotti beans as well, which are also beautiful. I think um, there's nasturtiums too are still outside. They're still in flower even at this time of year and in this temperature, which is very impressive. And I think I want to save some of those, but they are in the spot where I'm likely to grow them. So I, I'll see. I'll, I'll pick a few. I've had a few pickled them already earlier in the season for like poor man's capers I'll pick a few and set them aside in case the ones that fall onto the ground don't germinate but they're going to be in the same spot next year so might not be necessary what I would like to know is what seeds, what seeds you are saving if any or what seeds you would like to get your hands on for next year because seed catalogues are going to be coming soon it's going to be that time to get excited about them and I'm always looking for new ideas I would like to get some seeds possibly this year from the Heritage Seed Library I think that would be um, quite an interesting thing to do and I feel like I've been gardening for a few years now I feel confident enough to actually do that and not not totally mess it up which had put me off before because some of them are more rare seeds that aren't that widely available and that's the reason they send them out to people to grow to to increase the yields of them and I worried a little bit that that might have been something that was above me maybe next year which I think is going 
going to be my fourth or fifth year with the garden, I, I'm going to give it a try. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.